Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to a plant declutter slash anti-haul. Now before I begin, I'm aware that there's a few extra people joining us for this video. I'd just like to say before we start, if you are here because of Jenna Marbles, hi, how are you? What on earth happened? And second of all, if you are Jenna Marbles, hi beach. I don't even know what happened the other day. I was actually editing the video that you guys saw last week now. I had my phone like completely away from me. I was editing all night. I finally picked my phone up at about half past 11 at night. And I just have a barrage of notifications on my phone. I've gained like 500 subscribers in like an hour. I don't know what on earth is going on. Right, so my last video featured a plant haul where I got various new rare plants. And I think I mentioned in that video, I've kind of had to get rid of some plants because obviously these plants were on order and more is coming. And a few of you guys actually asked me, you know, what plants did you get rid of? Because I haven't really kind of told anybody about it. And I will state the same thing that I stated in my last plant declutter video. And that is that I don't think personally there is any Anything wrong with getting rid of plants. I think you can get rid of plants for one of a few reasons. One, I guess you don't have the care conditions, you know, to give the plant anymore. Two, if the plant is a danger to a pet, a human, another plant, that is probably a good reason to get rid of a plant. But honestly, the third reason is if you just don't get enjoyment out of that particular plant anymore, you know, give it to somebody else that does. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I'm totally full up on space. I know I said that before the last lot of plants came, so you can imagine I don't have much space here to play with and I need every little nook and cranny that I can get. So let's get into it. The first plant I've still yet to get rid of, but I'm pretty sure somebody's going to pick this up for free pretty shortly. I had to take this out of the pot because I really need the pot for the pink princess, so and that is the Syngonium. If you guys remember, I bought this on a plant haul like before Christmas, it was definitely before Christmas, it might have been like November time, I bought a little mini Syngonium and I'll be honest, I haven't really had much enjoyment out of it. I don't know if that's just because it's small, because it is. I'm not saying that I'll never pick up another Syngonium again, it's just right now I don't really have a need or a want for this little baby plant. My throat is going again two minutes. Can you believe this shit? I'm gonna have to start drinking before my videos. Oh no! Ah! No way. I've just cleaned and I've just spilled soil everywhere. No, oh my God, I'm not even kidding. My parents are coming in an hour. Now I have to clean again. All over the damn floor, guys. All over the floor. So I've rooted this up in moss just so whoever takes it can either keep it in the moss for a little while or they can plant it up or whatever they need to do. So that's him, if you can't remember what little Syngonium looks like, that is him. I think I paid three pounds for this originally. It was very cheap, but test a plant. I can actually highly recommend you doing that. If you want to have a plant and you're not really sure if you like it, like it's not a question of care tips, you just don't know if you want to own that plant, strongly recommend getting a baby version and just seeing if you like it because this didn't make the cut for me. So the next plant I have recently anti-hauled, decluttered, whatever you want to call it. I do not have it now because I've actually sold it off. But the next plant on my list is the Peperomia Watermelon. Now, there is nothing wrong with this plant. I really liked this plant. However, when I bought it from the local plant store that I always go to, I don't usually order online. This time I did order online and I paid for the Peperomia and I didn't realize how big it was. And as it turns out, I didn't really have a spot for it. I think they need much brighter light than what I can give it. It was nice while it lasted. It was sat next door in front of the window on the carpet and I don't go in there. So any plant that's in there, it's gonna be something that I don't have to touch. But because I didn't go in there, I just don't see the point in having it. It's taking up space. Somebody else could love it more than me. So I got rid of the watermelon. I don't think I've ever hauled the watermelon. I think I had the watermelon shortly before I started YouTubing. So I think I bought that in August. The next plant on my list that I happen to unhaul is the Calathea Freddy. Again, there was absolutely zero wrong with this Calathea. It didn't really, it wasn't as striking as most other Calathea I have. I kind of bought it on an impulse buy, that along with one other plant that I've decluttered, and I just wish I hadn't bought it. There was nothing wrong with it. It was in perfect condition when I sold it like two weeks ago, but I just, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. I'll be honest, I wasn't feeling it. Similarly, the Calathea Burley Marks, if that is what it's called. Now that was a pretty one and I nearly didn't sell that off, but in the end I decided, you know what, I'm gonna get rid because I know I need the space, the new plants are coming in. At the time, I didn't really know if I wanted to get rid of it, but looking back at it, I'm definitely glad that I did because of course, more space. So the next plant I would like to get rid of, I'd like to get rid of it because I have enough hanging plants and I can buy this plant pretty much anywhere. It's not difficult for me to get. If I want another one at a later date, that's absolutely fine. I can pick one up. So the next plant I'm getting rid of is the 
golden pothos. Now this one is the one I've just spilt literally all over my cream carpet. It's a hanging pot and I've sat it in another pot because I actually set it on a shelf and it, it's gnarly as hell. And I put the hooks back on because I'm selling it soon and I needed to make sure the hooks were there. But yeah, it's it's grown a lot since I've got it actually. If you look at that, it's quite long. I don't know if you can tell how long that is. That's my head, my little head. Yeah, it's got some good growth on it. It's got a little bit, you know, smaller leaf near the bottom just because that's like kind of the winter growth. But it's, again, there's nothing wrong with this plant. It's just, I need the room. I can pick this up at any time. I'm sure I'll get some when I have a house and I want to do some sort of, you know, green wall or something. But until then, I'm getting rid. I have one of these and then I have one next door. I didn't bring it through because it's practically the same. It's just a little bit uh, smaller. It's not quite as long on the vines, but same deal. So bye-bye golden pothos. So the next one, I acquired this plant quite recently, but I already have one because I had it in my rare plant haul. So I have a spare and I'm actually selling this off. It's technically classed as sold, but it is the Alocasia Cupria. Can you believe I have two of these? I just hold it up for you. Again, nothing wrong with it at all. It's definitely smaller than the one from my plant haul. It's probably about, not half the size, but maybe two thirds of the size. There's actually two in the pot. I mean, you can tell. Can you tell? God damn. Yeah, there's two in the pot, so you could quite easily divide this. So the lucky person that owns this technically gets two alocasia for the price of one. But as I say, I don't need two. That's just greedy. Nobody needs that. So I should be getting rid of this one. I did also get rid of my extra Maranta. If you guys remember my repot with me video, I potted up some Maranta cuttings back into the mother plant and then I made like another little Maranta plant out of the rest of the cuttings. I've since got rid of that. I actually gave that away for free because to be honest, I have Maranta plants coming out of my ears. I don't need any more. I thought someone else would be able to love it much better and it was kind of tucked away in a corner and I thought, you know what? I will give it away. Which brings us to my final plant, which I actually got rid of and I don't know if anybody's going to be surprised by this maybe I don't know but I actually got rid of my giant peace lily you may have seen my giant peace lily featured on some of my house plant tours if you haven't I will insert some footage of it right now it was quite large to be honest it was definitely over a meter tall I'm not quite sure how large it was I think it was in like a 21 centimeter pot it was quite a big brute it was blooming at the time that I actually sold it off but yeah I really really needed the space I have since replaced that peace lily with something i'm not going to tell you what it is but what i will tell you is it's larger possibly by a good couple of feet larger than the peace lily it's big it's not messing around but i don't really want to give any details away until i do the next house plant tour which brings me on to why i have decluttered these plants so obviously i've decluttered a lot of these plants because of a space issue but i'm actually going to get within the next couple of weeks i'm actually going to go to ikea i'm going to go back and do the gauntlet and i'm going to get some shelving and i'm going to put some grow lights on these shelves and i'm going to make it as pretty as i can so that i can house a lot of the new plants i have and so i can house a lot of the new plants that i know are coming being that i'm going to get some shelves in a couple of weeks i'm going to wait until after that shelving is you know constructed before I do another house plant tour but you will absolutely get a house plant tour probably within the next month and I think that's it for this video guys I'm very sorry it's probably a little bit quicker than normal things are still hectic here as of watching this video now this is Friday I'm actually not at home I'm all the way at my hometown really really busy and I can't get to a computer so I've had to film this in advance I'm really sorry it was more of an easier video than normal I promise rare plant index will resume hopefully this next week coming and yeah thank you for your patience as always if you like this video please leave a like down below if you like to see any more of my videos then please hit that subscribe button it really really helps and if you have any video suggestions requests anything a rare plant index care videos anything you like please leave them down below and i'll be sure to check them out so as per thank you very very much for watching and i will see you in the next video guys bye